side of the spectrum. A few hours to go before the gig happens, but already the fans are queuing up, and we're going inside to find Janet right now. this hand it's gonna touch Janet Jackson all right come with me MTV soul of MTV is in the house with Miss Janet Jackson hello did you know we were coming uh, <laughs> surprise I knew you were coming on a date to cake <laughs> Janet's just doing her makeup as we can see and um, a daily ritual I'm sure when you're on the road uh, yes but I don't I just do the finishing touches really. okay the Kathy actually touches I'm sorry I'm just putting on my Let's see. I'm sure everybody out there in MTV land is going to be really excited to see you on the screen, you performing tonight. We've already met a few of your fans earlier outside. Oh, you did? Yeah, they're all really happy. Good. So, um, good. how's it going? Um, so far it's been wonderful. It's been great. Um, we've been having a good time. Okay. And this is your little area, sort of all set up. A little funky area. Yeah, kind of dirty, <laughs> but that's all right. Um, and I noticed there's even a Janet Jackson chair. What's the story behind it? Someone made it for me. Uh -huh. And it was um, given to me. So I use it as, you know, the makeup chairs. They have to be nice and, and, and tall. And, and the makeup chair that I was using, it was all wood. And it kept breaking. So um, this was perfect. Our first point of call, I think, is going to be the stage. So um, as we walk up, you can talk us through it a little bit, how it all works on the set and everything else. This seems like a big production number. How many people actually travel with you? Um, it's about crew, about 65, 70, something like that. Wow. So. You almost get to know each other pretty well then. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do. <laughs> Very well. It's like a family, you know. But breaking down that number, I mean, that's dancer. I mean, tell us, who, who are all those people? Well, you have the crew, you have the dancers, you have the band. I mean, it's just a lot of people, and these guys work really hard, and, and I'm very appreciative, very thankful. And every single night, I mean, putting this up and turning it down, which you can't see much of it, it's covered, <laughs> because the, the audience is getting ready to come in, but, well, <laughs> looking at this, my inspiration was Gaudi. <laughs> now, now, look at it, it's just a big mess, right? I mean, you, can, you would never be able to, to, to tell that. But um, I, I think he's wonderful, and I love his work. I really do, but you'll see a little bit more when they pull everything off when the show starts. But um, just the, the the rounded edges and the very rough edges, and, and it has a, a, the feel of my home too, which yeah. is very bright in color and and um, rounded, rough edges and the stone things like that. So that's what I tried to recreate between my home and the feel of Gaudi and his work that I've seen, which I love. And a whole load of stairs. So I presume you're getting energetic every night running around is that right don't work out yes <laughs> it's a, a lot of stairs and monitors and, wow. and things and whatnot and Janet, how do you keep in shape though i mean does doing this stage set every night does that keep you healthy i mean well, yeah it keeps you healthy but it doesn't it doesn't keep the fat off your body no how, how do you do what work is your out. secret every day work out yeah about two and a half hours I ride about 25 miles a day and, and, um, and lift for about an hour, hour and a half. That's really disciplined. I mean, are there times when you're just not in the mood, you want a day off, you don't want oh, to do anything? Definitely. Well, like yesterday, I, I, I started my workout and I just was able to just ride for about 25 miles. And then after that, I was supposed to work out after that lift, but I, I was very tired, so, you know, jet lag. So I, I said, okay, just let me lay down for 15 minutes. And the next thing I knew, I was out. I was so out, and I, did, I wound up not lifting, really, but I, I still got to my cardio in. But it happens, and, and all the dancers and the band, we all work out, and that's just the one side of it. The other side of it would be the actual, the, the diet, what you eat. You guys yeah. want to go in here? What's in here? This is a, a secret entrance. Come with us. Come and have a look in here. There's, this is my dressing room. Uh -huh. my Another dressing room. It's <laughs> where we get butt naked. <laughs> all through here. Ah, there is more. Have a look in there. It's like a little... This is a little pathway. More chairs, more towels. It's so funny. When we were in Bangkok, some guys were watching the girls. 
dressed and undressed, and they were just standing there the entire time. And out of nowhere, the girls happened to see them and just started screaming. But they were watching them the entire show, getting dressed and undressed. So that that happens, or sometimes you'll see okay. the crew guys and okay. things like that peeking at you. And this is see, you get through the stage this way here. Cool. This so this is what it's like now. We're backstage. Nothing's happened in terms of the audience coming in, but. In a couple of hours or so, there's going to be a whole load of screaming fans out there. Janet, how do you cope every single night? I mean, do you ever get nervous? Um, do I ever get nervous? Should I go this way? Let's just work out where we're going first. Okay. No, no. No, I don't. Um, Is that because you've been playing the game so long, as it were? Um, I think so. Well, the very first time I, I actually uh, toured, I, I did, but... The, the very first night, but that was it. So two guys and six girls as the dancers. How many costume changes are involved every night? Mm, I think seven to ten, some kind of something like that. Wow. Kind of, sort of. And I mean, obviously, sort of through, since touring in Australia, you're now in Europe. It, it kind of, I'm sure, gets easier every night, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But there are times when it gets very difficult. Like um, we were in, um, where were we? in manila and there was oh no bang no it was perth in in australia and there was no air conditioning it, it the system it, it was broken the day that we got there so it was very hot right. for one outside and inside it was burning up and that's when it becomes really really difficult i mean you get a lot of feedback from the kids which gives you that extra energy but when it's really hot in the venue and it diff makes it difficult to breathe and your legs feel like lead and you can't kick you can't do anything so it becomes very tiring and backstage doing the quick changes which is more of a show to me than even out here because you're just rushing trying to make the the, the next cue and trying to be on time that yeah. that you're huffing and puffing backstage it, it becomes very difficult very tiring but it, it's grueling but that that's all a part of touring and, and I love it very much well, this is going to be quite a surprise because Emanate is supporting Janet on her tour and they've never met her before and apparently they're very big fans. So, right. here goes. Me. What's it like meeting Janet Jackson? I'm nervous, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shy and everything. I don't even want to look. I'm shy. I'll hang out with Randy. Hi, Adrian. Okay. Yeah. How you doing? Cool, T. How you doing? Hi. How you doing? I'm Details. Nice to meet you. All right. Big fan. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Very happy to be here. Say that again. We're very happy to be here. Thanks, happy Janet. So you guys have how many makeup artists on tour with you? Um, <laughs> well, if you include Kelly, we have. Well, we have two. Yeah. Yes, we have two. Okay. This is Kelly. Hello. Hi, Kelly. Hello. Hi. Hey, how are you? This is Nikki. Hello, Hi. Nikki. Hi. <laughs> how are you guys? We're really well. Janet's, Janet's actually giving us a guided tour here. Yeah. I hope we're not intruding too much. <laughs> and um, Kelly and Nikki, are you guys dancers or singers? Dancers. Or, say that, Cam? Dancers, yeah. Like oh, she says, <laughs> she's not no, a percussionist. We did a rehearsal and Nikki plays again while I, I uh, sing it. Some, yes, right? Yeah. yeah, on the piano. She's okay. played again. Well. Janet, how did you find? How did you find all your dancers and singers? Um, audition. Everyone auditions, really, and just picking the best. Not just dance-wise, but for me, it has to it has to be something there in the heart. Good-hearted people, and that's very important because you become you become a family, and there's no room for attitudes or moodiness. Even though some of us still <laughs> tend to get moody, but no, I mean you're together. We all get along very well, and it's it's like a family. This is a wardrobe as we're busting in here. So, what happens in here? I mean, obviously all the clothes are kept here, they're ironed and numbered and... Yes, this is Bonnie over here. This is Tina's outfit for um, a medley that we do. <laughs> That's Tina's outfit. Here are my boots. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and touch Janet's boots. I think men up and down the country in Europe are going to be really jealous about this. Say that again. That's the, the, the Indian feel to it here. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> hey. These are the guys. How's it going? Who are these guys? This is Omar. One of the dancers. Who's Sean? Um, I think he's stretching. <laughs> so do you guys do a little practice every night? You know, sort of 
get yourself limbered up and all the rest of it. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, um... Yeah, here's Sean. Yeah, sure, yeah. We, we just get ourselves mentally ready at this point, you know what I mean? Just as much as physically. We've done it a lot, so... And one of the pairs. Yeah, a liar. <laughs> liar. What do you do before you start a show? Sleep. <laughs> That's about it. Sleep. Janet, do you ever eat? <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Oh, and if so, what kind of food are you into? Um, fish. I eat fish. No chicken or anything else. Just fish and vegetables and fruits and goodies like that. Okay. And this is, um, truck drivers and bus drivers and, you know... There's more of a band down there. Yeah, this is part of the, the crew guys. Do you know any of these guys, the crew? Yeah, it's just Mike, our lighting guy. Look at Mike. He's... <laughs> What's going on here? We're going to go meet some of the chefs as well, which, um, who actually travel all around Europe with the tour. What's that? Mashed potatoes and Moroccan casserole. Sweet corn, broccoli, strawberry cheesecake. I quite like the sound of the strawberry cheesecake. Fruit salad. Hi, you guys. Hi. <laughs> so who are all these guys, Janet? These are, these are all the guys that make everyone happy, I suppose. <laughs> You've just given us a, a tour backstage. Thanks so much for that, because most people won't actually know what it's actually like. You know, they'll go to a concert, they'll see the band or their, their favorite singer perform, and then they won't really think about what it all entails putting it together. It's been a real insight. Uh, um, well, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Definitely. So, what happens after tonight? You're going out there to perform here in Oslo and then hitting the rest of Europe. But um, what actually happens when you finish a concert on average? Do you usually just take a few hours to unwind? Do you go back to the hotel and go straight to bed? Well, after the show, I have meet and greet, which is when uh, you meet, uh, whether it's the fans or, or, or the, some of the executives from the record company. and and um, just a, a lot of different people and their friends. And do you enjoy that? Yeah, I do. I actually yeah. do. Sometimes you're a little tired, but uh, as, especially after the show, but still you have that, that adrenaline that takes a few hours to, to come down, come off of that. So it's okay. It, it's fine. And then after that, I'll go back to the hotel, and I'm flying tomorrow. Even though I love the bus and I love to ride on the bus, I'm, I'm flying tomorrow to, okay. to Sweden. Okay, and then the tour continues. So long.